Hi friends! So today I'm going to show you how to blur a face in Magix Edit Pro Plus or uh, in Magix Video Pro X. I have the, the Pro version but it's basically the same. So as you can see I have this scene here with me talking to the camera. So let's say you want to blur the face. How, how do you do that? Well, I just created an image before that. An image that looks like this. So it's basically a circle, a white circle. And I'm going to drag this image into the timeline just below this video. Okay, so now you can see the, the white circle overlaid on, onto my footage. Now I need to create some space here. So I'm going to take the sound on a lower track. Okay, so the image is being overlaid onto, onto the footage. First, let's uh, let's just resize this circle and uh, let's animate it with keyframes. So my face is over there, but uh, image is here. So we go to effects, movement effects, size and position. So now we can place this. And now we're going to work with keyframes. So this is the first keyframe. Notice that I click the symbol. Bam! And I have a keyframe there. And now I, I, I keep moving. So this means I need to reposition this, uh, this image onto my face. So let's drag it here. You see another keyframe there in that field. I'm moving over here. Also I need I would have to resize it again. So this is how you keep moving it with keyframes. So this means it will travel along with my face. So my face uh, is being covered all time. Here we can make another keyframe. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that for a while. This is harder because I move around too much, but uh, it would have been easier if I was, uh, if this were, were a still shot. Anyway, I lost my patience. I don't want to do this uh, till the to the whole, for the whole scene, but. Um, uh, you get the point. So now I need to copy this video. I'm gonna just hit Ctrl C and then Ctrl V. And I just drag it below onto the track that was free. Now what I do is I click this, uh, this image and I go to Effects video effects, chroma key, and I make this image an alpha mask, but since the image is white, this, uh, and now it is an alpha mask, this uh, video on the lower track is being overlapped onto the first one, but since it's the same video, you, you don't see anything, any difference. So now we have to apply an effect onto this. Uh, second video that we pasted there which is basically the same piece of footage but we're going to blur it so we go to where we go? to sharpness and we apply the artistic blur and now you can see my face is blurred and uh, of course this is uh, an image and we can move it uh, just just as we did before I can reposition it, I can drag it, I can resize it. If, if we just hit play now, my face will be blurred until here because and then the, the blur, the blur uh, portion remains 
static because I didn't have the patience to go all the way with the keyframe. So let's have a look at the result. So the doctor comes out and says to him, congratulations, you have a piece of cheese of four kilos. <laughs> so yeah, there you have it. This is how you blur the face in Magic's movie edit Pro Plus. Cheers, bye bye.